Okay, so I've prepped mum's skin with some Max Factor Miracle Prep, just to give it a nice base, just because really she likes a little bit of a massage and a bit of a tension on her face. <laughs> okay, so just smoothing that in. I then use a mix of the Vita Liberata, which gives a nice glowiness, and the Max Factor Foundation. And I use the foundation brush to put that over the whole face. The foundation brush is brilliant on older skins because it does get in between wrinkles and lines um, and into kind of creases, you know. Um, so just make sure you, you take it into the hairline so there's no lines around around your face. Um, always around the nose edge, close under the eyes and on the eyelids. Always make sure you prep your eyelids with some foundation. Gives a nice base for eyeshadow to go on top on top of. And you just see there, lots of women take it right up to their ear and not onto their earlobe. So just take it onto your earlobe and just give it a rub with your fingers to blend it in. Just so if your ears seen from the front where your hair is, you look the same colour all over. <laughs> Okay, so then I use some Rimmel Concealer and I put it into the corners of my mum's eyes where they're quite blue. Um, so I particularly concentrate on those areas and then just on the outside of mum's eyes and her kind of smile lines. And I've let that dry a couple of seconds before I start patting that in with the brush. You can see that I'm patting it in there rather than spreading it around too much. Taking it right up to the lower lashes and then you've got a really nice base your makeup to go on now and an even skin tone. I use the RMS Beauty tinted um, powder here just to take away any oily zones on my mum. She's got an oily T-zone so I just take it down the centre of her face really. Using the Code 8 Arch Realist brow pencil I pencil in mum's brows. Brilliant colour this for fair hair and it's super soft so it goes on really softly. And like many people of my mum's generation, where they've overplucked their eyebrows, this is a great pencil that's full of ingredients to help hair regrowth. Um, so it's a kind of two-in-one product, which we love. So I just pencil that on, then brush the colour through the hair. Okay, next I use one of my favourite products, the Bare Minerals Warmth uh, Bronzer. And I give that a buff on her cheeks, under her jawline and on her neck. Just gives a little bit of overall sun-kissed look. Next I'm using some cream blusher. This one's from Superdrug. All the details will be below and I'm just putting it on the apple of my mum's cheeks. Just gives a really pretty flush. The palette that I'm using is the Max Factor palette. Really lovely, easy palette with great colours. And I'm using the, the centre colour, which is like the mid-tone. It's a really nice taupey brown over the whole eyelid. I'm using the Donna May brushes. And that's the eyelid blender. And then the other end of that brush is the socket blender, which you can use to, to blend your socket line with. So I'm putting that over both eyelids, just up to the socket line. It's a really lovely colour. You could leave it with just that colour if you wanted to, but we're making mum up a bit more today. So I'm going to use some other colours in, in the palette. And then I'm using the socket line brush, and I'm using a darker brown from that palette just in the corners, you can see there, and then buffing it up into the socket line, circular motions to make sure there's no edges and it's all blended. That's it, that opens the eyes if you keep the darkness on the, on the outside. Just keep going over it, however boring it is, to keep blending. There's nothing worse than um, a colour that just suddenly stops. 
you need it to kind of fade away, fade into the skin. I use the multi-use brush, which is on the end of the eyebrow brush, to just take that colour, the same colour, under the eyes as well, to give a nice, soft, smoky feeling. Just brushing away any excess droppage. And then I'm using the Stila Brown Kajal Stick um, as an eyeliner here, just running that really finely across my mum's, top of my mum's eyelids. Just gives some definition to her to her lashes. And I will smudge that in as well just to soften it so there's no harsh lines. But it just, just emphasises and op opens her eyes a bit more. So using that same multi-use brush, I'm just blending it in and rubbing it, rubbing it along the line into the lashes. You can take it out past the eye to give you that kind of cat flick. Mum's got an itchy ear. <laughs> okay. And then there's a really gorgeous silvery sparkle in this palette that I'm using on the centre of Mum's eyelid there. Can you just see, just on the centre of her eyelid. And it really just pops, makes the eyes pop. I also take it into the corners of Mum's eyes because what that does is it just... It adds some extra space there, makes them look a little bit bigger. It's just a really pretty finishing technique. And then I'm using my old fave, which is the Kiko Maxi Mod Definition Mascara on upper and lower lashes. Just run that carefully under the lower lashes. Looks lovely fiddling with her hair and then I'm using a new Max Factor nude lippy all the details will be below of exactly which color this is this is a great color for every day um, and great of a smoky eye it's a really nice warm peach again I'm using the multi-use brush I've got a few of them um, for a lip brush here. No lip liner, I didn't want any harsh edges, so straight in with the lipstick. And there we go. And then I gave her hair a tiny little bit of a blow dry, with a little bit of body, shook it up, and that's the finished results. My lovely mum. <laughs>